The Butler men's basketball team is off to a red-hot start this season, winning all three games last week. Despite the absence of graduate student Aaron Thompson to a three-game team suspension, Butler's young talent has stepped up big time. Sophomore Chuck Harris is picking up right where he left off, leading the team with 15.7 points per game. The new additions of freshman guards Seamus Lukosius and Jaden Taylor have also played a major role in the recent success. Lukosius started in all three games as the primary ball handler and has shown promise of being a great facilitator, scoring 15 points, 5 assists, and 13 rebounds. Taylor's been a scoring machine as well as he's racked up double-digit points in his first three collegiate games, including a season-high 18 points against Central Arkansas on Friday. Transfer Ty Gross also made his debut, showing his versatility to guard almost any position on the court. In his limited playing time during the first two games, Gross has 11 points, 5 assists, and 7 rebounds. Butler fans even had the chance to witness a little Hinkle magic. As time was ticking down in the first half, graduate student Bryce Enzi heaved a prayer from 80 feet away to tie the game before providing a much-needed spark to their offense. Head coach Laval Jordan is thrilled to see the improvement in his players now that the season has officially started. Now you got real games and other opponents. It's not blue versus white anymore. Um, to realize, you know, maybe what you didn't realize for some of our younger guys, uh, the importance and the urgency that's required. And um, as you play games, you see how much is on the line and how close it is. And so they've just they've grown and gotten better. The Butler men's basketball team will be put to the test this week against Michigan State at the Gabbett tip-off games at 7 p.m. here in Hinkle Fieldhouse. For the Butler Collegian, I am Ethan Pollock.